Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stoneface Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we're here watching some Full Metal Alchemist. So Theta, why don't you go ahead and tell us what you remember from last time? Envy got turned into a lamprey, I think? Uh, uh Envy Envy got beat up in lamprey, yeah, that's right. Well, they defeated, the, they broke her, his, their, they broke their Ooh. Philosopher's Stone, but instead of dissolving like every other, um homunculus has done they turned into a lamprey instead which i guess is just the creature that they were before so which i guess indicates maybe a hint of the future let's say if somebody like salim well maybe not salim if somebody like bradley had their philosopher's stone broken mm -hmm. that they would just turn into bradley well, Bradley only has a one stone soul. He's basically human, ultimately. Or, he doesn't have uh, a I should say Ling. version of himself. I should actually. say Ling or Bradley. Yeah. Well, no, Ling no, I'm, so I'm indicating accurate. that they're indicating to us is that when Envy had their stone broken, they just turned into whatever creature they were before they had a stone put in them. Which mm -hmm. is then to indicate that Bradley, who had experiments done was and had a stone inserted into them, would just turn back into a normal ass human, which then would indicate that Ling, in similar situation, would just become a normal ass human as well. That would seem to be the case, I think. Yeah, like we we've already seen basically the more active representation of these stones, which are the roiling mass of humanity and souls crying out in constant pain. Which Envy basically had on parade at like full blast at all times, but like I think we've briefly seen that's basically what the inner world of greed is also like. So yeah, if you just burn all that away, all that's left is Ling. It's just him again. Uh, or I guess like the shadow of greed is there too, technically. Which I'm is talking about them turning into yeah. their default form, mm -hmm. which has nothing to do with all those other things. Does Sloth have a default form? A different one? I don't know. Hmm. That's one I got to think about there. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not, I'm not using him as an example because we don't know anything about him. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I don't think he actually shows up the entire rest of the series. He does. I, I have no memory of this. He does. <laughs> okay, if he does, he does. If he doesn't, I'm just like... We both know. I've, I've mentioned it a hundred times now, so I don't even know why you're trying to gaslight here. That, I'm not even trying to gaslight. I'm being honest. That I've like, mentioned I the AMV that I used in our role playing days, where literally, mm -hmm. you know, older brother Louis Armstrong, Louis Armstrong, <laughs> Alexander Armstrong, and what's his name, the meat shop guy, both fight yeah. him. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So maybe yeah, there's stuff later on then to go for. Uh, but let's see, what else interesting and or important happened? I guess nobody cares about, uh, about the coal miner dude. That everyone just perfectly fine. Bradley like, indicates that he might not be full of wrath all the time. Yeah. Which is probably a callback to the conversation that he had with Greed where Ling came out and he mm -hmm. looked shocked. Yeah. The... The impression we had of, like, Wrath the entire time has definitely been that he's just constantly disguising his emotions, but, like, the idea of, like... Well, I guess this I think the implication... Like, nah, I picked my own wife and I actually appreciate the, her. The implication like, of Wrath shock. is that he was done so early that he doesn't mm -hmm. have an alternate identification. Unlike yeah, yeah. Ling, who got this done recently. So he's a grown-ass man with grown-ass man thoughts. Yep. Uh, let's see... I think on top of all that, was there any place we were leaving off or going to? I think we like very quickly crossed the entire country back to uh not Resimbul, but the uh Lior. Right. We're back in Lior with Al and Hohenheim, who decided to stick around and help out. So, I I think on all that, is there anything else we want to go ahead and cover before we get started? Any other thoughts on of yours before we get going? We're about to get in family drama. I mean, I remember what we left off with last episode. Not, I mean, the next time on part. I mean, specifically uh -huh. a comment that you made that we spent time going over. But I guess my thought now is that I don't want to again. So, okay. I mean, you could just mention it, and that's fine. Oh, your whole 
that von Ho- that Hohenheim is a different person to different people. Yeah, yeah. So we went over that a little bit last time, but I guess we'll just see how he turns up this time. Right now, let's go ahead and start watching. But before we do, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as some early access stuff, you can go ahead and follow us over on the Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but no pressure. It's all to help the channel, just a little bit extra. Click the link down below, join the Discord, let us know. Which of the de- seven deadly sins homunculus would you be? You don't have to be them. You just get their powers. Huh. It's weird no, I think that I... the opening here on the low volume that I have it set on right now, because the volume uh-huh. changes in the show all the time. Of course. Reminds me of the slow down version of the Subaki Bisco opening that I used to use hmm. for our reactions. Only yeah, in, not guess... this part here, but I mean right there at the very opening where they're giving you epilepsy and carving some sort of stuff in the sand. Yeah, yeah. The intro here is like supposed to be like really hype, and then it goes from like actually I feel like it goes from electric to acoustic, doesn't it? Huh. Yeah, no, I think really get what you're saying though. Man, Zabiki Bisco got done dirty. More people should have watched it. <laughs> you're talking about it's got a second season. Oh, oh yeah. Hmm. I, I guess I just don't hear it talked about as much. You mean at all? Fun. Yeah. You know what? I still haven't seen Kimberly blow up missiles, though. I want to see that. Oh my god! You got his name right first time this time. <laughs> Your favorite show can't remember characters. Uh, imagine me being right about things. It's not going to change no matter how much I like something. <laughs> I mean, it should be for your favorite show. <laughs> All right, Revenant Bullfardo is promising. Time. Yeah. So, uh, I saw Panaco recently. She told me about your body. You were literally there. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ho. Ah, finally, someone to break the awkward silence. Yeah, sure. Um, let's catch up later. Oh, okay. Also, I don't think I'd ever address anyone as Mr. Ho. Why not? You did a hell of a job. (laughs) I think it'd be very easy for them to get confused what I meant. So you hate Asian people then? I'm really sorry. All you like that, Griff? Because we stuck well, I had a very good thought in my head, and you ruined it with a bad joke that I had to respond to you with you with a worse joke. <laughs> this is how you control the conversation. I'm, I'm sorry I, I ruined your brain, Theta. No, I still I know what I was thinking. <laughs> I just still know what I was thinking. It just has no... You can't carry it over with that conversation. <laughs> Rose, can you take care of Winry? Well, we might as well help too. You just ask Rose to take care of Winry? Huh? I'm eating. Yeah. <laughs> the person you just met after how many, how long has it been? You don't even know what she's up to. She could be a bad person now. The last time that you met her, she wanted a loved one to come back to life, and you had to talk her down. She could have been having a racist conversation about Ishvalans. And you oh, like I left when he was Take care of Winry. I haven't seen him since. I doubt that he thinks of me as his father or trusts me. I'm not even sure what to say to him. Hey Dad <sighs> Oh, never mind. Turns out he's just really nice. <laughs> I'd like to work too. Here, let me carry those. Al oh, really is just such a good boy. I'm stronger than you despite my complete lack of muscles. Here you go. I, in fact, have no muscles at all. I should be weaker than you, if you think about it. Okay? There, there really is now a favorite for the fan service. Amazing. <sighs> oh, yeah, there it is. Since I've had a bath. I'll leave some fresh clothes for you here. Thank you so much, Rose. Now, was that Rose or was that the parrot? So nice to do all this for me. 
I'm really impressed with you, Winry. Working as an auto Remember, the parrot was pretending to be her boyfriend, so... Yeah. Your, your joke makes no sense. That's right. That was back when we were just little kids, really. That's amazing. You're the one who literally helped Ed get back on his feet again. So you indirectly helped me get back on my feet, too. I owe you just as much as I owe Ed and Al. Anyway, what I was thinking was that Al has more in common with his dad now than he has with his brother. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But lucky for me, that's when Ed and Al showed up and proved that his miracles were just alchemy. Everything I believed in... Why do you have a snow cap? I lost all hope. Because they finally took off the snow clothing. with me. He told me to stand on my Oh, you mean it was Winry's, okay. He's yeah, yeah. I thought the implication was she here's a bunch of clothes, choose what you want to wear. <laughs> and the girl living in the desert had a snow cap on the bunch. That's just how much he cares. But you already know that, don't you? Huh? <laughs> nope, I just know how strong his back looks. Mine and the whole town's. We're learning to stand on our own, and we don't need any kind of miracle to do it. It's all thanks to Ed and Al. And their dad, as it turns out. Ed. Their dad has all the power of a single human being. It's a bright idea to follow those military guys. I have no idea where the hell I am. Where are you, Mr. Greed? <laughs> Single-handedly solving the entire conspiracy. Oh everybody. no, Griff. It's so spooky. I'm scared. Ah. I don't know what to do. I can't look. No. I know. Well, you're terrified, apparently. You thought this was the spooky bit. Oh, he's just in the room at that exact moment. The third tenet is to prevent someone from creating their own army, General. But these aren't... they aren't human, are they? Correct. They're like humanoid receptacles, powerful dummies that we can bond souls to. Not only are they immortal, they're mindless. Well, it's exactly how First Wave works. They that sci-fi movie, I keep, perfect, or TV so show, rather, I keep telling you about. Mind if I ask you? Yeah, there we go. Just aliens right instead of souls. You mentioned that souls would be bonded to them. Where do you plan on procuring these souls? From rival lands, of course. Citizens from the countries we ravaged during the course of war. I'm sure that's what you believe. Another, the battlefield serves as a hunting ground for the collection of souls. <laughs> yeah, they got the real necromantic plan right there. If we start killing more, we get more soldiers. The profile was in the next time on, but back then I thought that was um, Mustang. Mustang's does, profile. Well, no, I'm positive uh, it does. They actually do have a kind of similar profile now that I think about it. So, it's a countrywide transmutation circle, and you plan on destroying it. Yeah. So I was kind of shocked to find you here, Dad. I must have some good luck after all. We encountered a man who was identical to you in Central. I don't know how you're connected to him, but I'm guessing you at least know who he is, right? Are you sure you want to know, Al? <laughs> Did it ever cross your mind I might be on their side? <laughs> You've given away your entire plan. Aren't you the least bit worried I might be it? Stop being so childish, child of mine. How dare you be so upfront and personable and open about things. I'm glad that you feel like you can still trust me. Thanks, Alphonse. <sighs> Sure. Not after that, actually. Even though I left them, this boy still sees me as his father and actually trusts me. Now then, I suppose time I to destroy him. The same trust they've given me. This won't be easy to explain. It would be for the best for Edward to hear it as well. Actually, I hate to say it, but brother has gone missing. Oh, that's my favorite bank. 
Banks Bank. Yeah. You can really trust them with their banking. In line, please. Banks Bank of Banking. I'd like to make a withdrawal from the account of State Alchemist Edward Elric, his research account. Are you the account holder? I'm his representative, but I brought a letter of attorney. This is the most real part of the show. Thank you for your business, sir. Well, just, no, I guess it's not real enough, coming. considering he should have gotten through a lot more hardship. No, never mind. Bank of a mistress, this is very real. Branch. We've just had a very large withdrawal taken from State Alchemist Edward Elric's personal research account. No, he claimed to be his representative. Well, he was rather tall and very brawny. Here, that should cover your medical bill. <laughs> well, I could charge you more, but this will do. It better. Still you know, very real. Ripping us off, <laughs> How can you say that? Doesn't matter where you are. It's always too expensive. Sure, and as long as you guarantee that you're going to keep your mouth shut, then I'm not complaining. Darius. <laughs> I guess they found us. Quick, put them upstairs with that girl we have in the attic. Yes, hello. <laughs> oh, you're soldiers. Do you need a physical? We're looking for someone. Is this man your only patient? There's no one else? There's one more resting. <laughs> are you the only patient back here? Yeah. Why are you asking? What's wrong? Why does it look so, like you just suddenly jumped in the bed? This afternoon? Yeah, you're wearing a Don't sweater. Huh? Hold it. Do you work at this doctor's office? Slowly raise your hands above your head. Put him in the air as though you just don't care. Frequenting the clinic lately? I like how they're looking for someone they don't know what he looks like. Right now! Show me your hands! A red coat, blonde hair worn in a braid, and short. <laughs> Check it out! Uh, I was working perfectly until he said short, man. Harris. Harris, what happened to you? That's fine. I'll pay for the fact he just swallowed a dog of wood. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Mouth splinter is always the best, right? No, it's about the splinters you get when you pass it. What's going on? Hey, answer me! Yeah, I love this when I saw it in RoboCop 30 years ago. It gets full horror story vibes here for Ed, right? Well, I mean, in RoboCop, he pulls him through the wall and throws him out of a uh, second-story window, so it's a bit worse there. My injuries are completely healed, and I'm revving at full throttle. It'd be less intimidating coming from somebody like him. Metal Alchemist. Thanks for everything you've done, Doc. Don't worry about Look, it. like any any teenager, he just wants to be cool and edgy, you know. <laughs> That's all they're looking for? Someone with a red coat and a braid? Guess I'll have to make do with this look for a while. Freeze! I mean, you literally Check only fulfill the short part. We took too long. Get your hands up in the air. Do it now. Move it, kid. Those guys are dangerous. <laughs> Stay back or he's dead. Don't force us to blow this kid's Not the finger out. guns. <laughs> Just absolutely recognizing he's got nothing. Oh, he's got a real one now. I'll unwire some wheels for us. Okay. Step on it. Don't call me that. Strive back. Gorilla to <laughs> Donkey Kong. We're never going to ditch him. That was a little too I feel like Ed could, could just get rid of the snow, Not right? Much. They're right on us. Probably. Damn it. Hey, turn there. I've got an idea. What? Just shut up and turn. Ah, uh, that's a good plan. Just park the car as soon as we turn. Hydroplanes right through the wall. Oh yeah, they have no control. What? How? Where did they go? They must have turned on that street up there. Move it. Nothing suspicious to see here. <laughs> Whew. And you did. 
doubted me. Yeah, well, can you change it back into a normal car now? And why is that? I think this car looks cool as hell. Just change it. Back. I think I can only see it's like an inch of the front windshield now. You guys got a problem with my sense of style? You don't have any. <laughs> so I guess this means we're drifters again. Yep. I never should have dropped my guard around Kimberly. Talk about a setback. And Al, I hope he was able to safely find Winry. Hey, Full Metal, quit spacing out. Y you gotta have a plan so for me, right? Plan of action. Well, let's see. The first thing I need to do is meet up with Al. He should be with Dr. Marco by now. Well, where are they? You do know how to find them, right? Literally, no. If I were Al, where would I go? Come on. Think. Psychic powers activate. Still awake? <laughs> well, we have no choice Sorry. but to be awake, so yes. Just a lot. You were a slave and now you're a philosopher's stone? Oh, oh, he watched, uh, he watched the lore episode. Can't say I blame you if you don't believe me. I doubt I would. I know how impossibly far-fetched that it sounds. You'd have to be crazy to believe it. Well, I guess I'm crazy then, because I do believe you. Uh, do you really? That was fast. I'm a well, living suit of armor. It kind of scares It's not me. hard to believe a lot of things. Besides, my situation's kind of far-fetched, too. Well, looks like I pre-watched the show or something like... Yeah, they, I thought that well, you were supposed to do the spoiler-free thing to come on. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm just good enough to write for Full Metal Alchemist. It doesn't come in handy, but it's not worth watching everyone I love die before me. Like Mom. Wait. If you're a philosopher's stone, you don't have a normal human body. So that means right? you could have saved your mom, because your philosopher's stone can do fucking anything. Yeah, all he would have to do is sacrifice somebody else. No, he already has that. He has that built in. I'm not saying make a new philosopher's stone. I'm saying use the one you've already got. I am a human being, although I look alike beneath Central. His body is like a leather bag. Had an aftermath. A leather bag? More or less. And if we yeah, so a leather bag and a shell, those are the same thing. It's still a container. Yes. I like to think about uh, those times I'm going to go to Japan. And I'm going to go to all those shell stores. We've got to hurry and stop them. It's almost complete. Well, it's the future. you got to get the clam shells. You've really done your homework. This is a reverse transmutation circle, huh? Destroying the tunnel seems like the best way to thwart them. And since it runs under Lior... That's not a good idea. <sighs> They've got an immensely powerful homunculus named Pride watching over the tunnel. But still, we've got to try before it's too late. For all we know, they might have already completed the circle. Then why are you so relaxed? Because it's not yet time. Huh? It's got How nothing do to know? do but wait. Look up, son. Yeah, the moon. Well, You're too right. busy looking down when you need to look up. Huh? If you want answers, that's where you'll find them. Up? The sky? Was it a solar eclipse at that time? You mean the sun god Leto? The man in central is waiting for the day of reckoning. I just remember it was dark on the day when <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Hohenheim and them did it. Why is he doing this to me? What did I do to deserve it? All you gotta do is go to space and it all makes sense. <laughs> This is fun. Most people tend to curl up and cry. It's about time that someone actually fights back. I do appreciate the chance to kill my. At boy. what point was he fighting back there? <laughs> Why is he actually you doing something instead of giving up? And your voice sounds like what the hell? You? How dare you imitate Mr. Greed? Excuse me. I'm no imitation. My name is Greed. The avaricious. You got it. I want everything you could possibly think of. I want money and power and women, sex, status, the same speech. The finer things in life. 
You can't! How could you be? All right. Who are you? It has to be! You the are voice is the great. rack. But how can you look like someone else? I asked you who you are. Now tell me. It's me! I'm your friend, Bido! You haven't been gone from Dublith long enough to forget! <laughs> You're from Dublith? Oh, now it makes sense. You remember That's the flashlight sleuther moment. I have no idea who this is. Buddies with the previous greed. But I thought... Sorry, pal, but you and I have never even met. But, Mr. Greed, I'm your friend. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. I don't think this makes any sense. I am sorry, honestly. What oh, does? I said doesn't. If he's greed, and he wants everything, why wouldn't you want that guy? Greed. Are you determined to prove you're a monster? What kind of sick creature would kill his own friend? He wasn't my friend. That would be why. That's not an explanation, bro. He could literally have that guy. That guy was offering himself. If you're greed, you take it. Pull yourself together, Greed. I'm warning you. I'll take my body back if you drop your guard. They aren't mine. Father purified me and purged the old Dre's memories. Those memories aren't a part of me anymore. No, you're wrong, Greed. <laughs> it's not that easy. They'll always be a part of you. You can't just erase them from your soul. They were the only part of you that you chose. Look at them. Can you not hear their souls crying out? You abandoned them. Your real family. You threw them away like trash. Fool, if you turned your back on something you wanted, you don't deserve to call yourself free. Bam. That's what I said. He could have had something and he chose not to take it. That's not greed. Also, there's a, that speech right there was very uh -huh. much a Gurren Lagann moment. All he had to do was be holding a drill in his hand, and I know exactly what character his voice actor is in Gurren Lagann, mm -hmm. and he says the soul with the same inflection. With a all he could be saying, "This is Kimon, this is Simon's soul. This is Team Tiguren's soul, and in fact, it's my soul." It's literally we, we, the same inflection the and the same energy. <laughs> but but yeah, I, I think that was like the entire point of the dialogue, right? That he wants to believe he doesn't remember any of it, that it's all gone. The 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 critical part that you're you're talking about is the fact that he's trying not to admit it. Doesn't matter. The wise and the memory shit does all doesn't matter. He's even said it in his speech, I want everything that this world has to offer. And then literally somebody's offering something up, and he kills mm. it. And he's like, I don't want that. That's not <laughs> greed. It's... They are mono... They are mono... Desire, right? So it doesn't right. matter what their other reasonings are. They have one thing to fulfill. Ah, one more, bit more. I think you'll enjoy this one. I was just a bit older than you are the first time I read it. It's about an adventurer who travels the world. It's already on the front page. Oh no. What is it? Who is it? Episode's gonna be good. Oh, yeah. The battle has begun. Relentless anger and unexpected battle has begun, and it will not end until the victor stands over the corpse of the defeated. Better be me. But what truth yeah. lies beneath the rage, waiting to be discovered once the dust is settled? Next time on Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood.
Episode 45, The Promised Day. Your only hope is to come together with the people that you believe in. Yeah, because my first thought was like, who would, li who in all of Central or the world would attack Bradley at his own house in the middle of Central? It's like, has goddamn Brad <laughs> Bradley controls fucking everything and has so many conspiracies built up around his control of Central. It's like, who the fuck would even? Greed, that's who. And I think this is actually the even more critical point. The reason why Greed rebelled in the first place and, well, is doing it again. Uh, the entire point of Father putting him back through all that was to make him obey. And he was for a minute, and now he acknowledged his own nature, and he ain't doing it no more. Yeah, well, he lost one time. I think he'll lose again. It, he could totally just lose a second time in a row. You are absolutely right. I mean, except for the fact that I have a, again... There's a vague memory in my mind of him walking out of a mountain wearing a white coat or something like this, which now thinking about it could have been Kimberly, but I it's don't probably Kimberly. Yeah, I don't know. Like you said, I don't remember after watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, mm -hmm. but I guess maybe like one of the times I was at a hospital or something and I just fell asleep watching Cartoon Network, which would have <laughs> meant, well, you know, Toonami. Yeah, I, yeah. I spent more of my the dreamscape now merged together. Yeah, so it could have just been you know waking up to that, and I'm imagining Kimberly and Ling are the same person because I mm -hmm. guess I'm. What country are they from? Uh, which character? The two that I literally just mentioned. Sorry again. Which two? Ah, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna make a self-deprecating joke and realized. I don't want to go through this repeating myself shit again just to insult myself. Yeah, go go ahead and let, let's leave off on a happier note, which is greed v. wrath fight. Let's go. <laughs> so, Theta, any any more thoughts on that before we go ahead and uh, finish well, off? No, because it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> All right, then. So we're going to go ahead and remain hype and end it off here for today. This has been Stoneface Reactions, everybody. I'm Griffin. That's Theta, and we'll catch you next time. See you around. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below, and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video, and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy? <laughs> <laughs>